Okay, this is a 2003 Suburban, and we're, to get the speedometer out, we're going to have to remove the uh, dashboard. The easiest way is to put the key in, get your lever down. If you've got a telescoping wheel, drop it as low as you can. Turn it here, okay. We're going to uh, reach up on the dash with our fingers and pull this away. Okay, now that it's loose, I'm going to uh, pull this down a little bit here. Pushing it down to clear the dash. And then lift it up and remove this. And now we can get at the uh, speedometer. And uh, uh, now we have uh, four screws to get out. One's here, I took that out. One's up there. And then on the other side, one over here and one down below. And uh, so. at this, I'm using, this is a, a seven millimeter socket. And we'll just go in and unscrew them. There's the screw, one of four, Put some light down there, okay, there's one down there, there's one to go to remove yet, and then there's the other one that's been removed. Let's lift this out. On the back, you can see the connectors. I'm going to squeeze up on, on together on both of them. There we go. All the wires are going to be toward the top. When we squeeze this, uh, the gray one here, that latch pulls away and releases itself from here. And that's it. Speedometer unit is now free, More. but uh, you can drive the car in this manner. So be careful that, uh, you know, you, if you're going to drive it like this, be careful that uh, your oil levels aren't low or anything that uh, could be critical. Watch your speed. That's a back attached. And we're going to release these three to the face part of it. Okay, those are released. Okay, uh, they're, they're caught down in here. They're also pinned, so I'm going to take a screwdriver and push. Now what I want you to do is to take all the needles very lightly and turn them until they have a little resistance here. And that's going to be where we're going to align them when we put it back together. Okay. And that's what we have the tape for. Remove it out of the way. Press the tape down. Now bring your needles back to where the resistance is. And then take a pen and I want you to mark where all the needles are at this point.
to come, we're going to have to take the needles off and put those back when we're done. So, if you noticed uh, the length of the needles, these four are all the same. You can take a, a fork and just push it underneath and lift up. And here's how it is. Now let's just compare these two. They are the same length, so you don't have to worry about mixing those two up. Now we can release the catches on the back half. And off that comes. Once you have the back off, you can lift the circuit board. And there it is. You've got all your servos. So don't mix up the ones, uh, you know, be sure you remember which one you're replacing. Also, confirm the alignment on it because you have to put the new servo in into the same place. Over here was the tachometer, here was the speedometer, and then you had your voltage and oil pressure and so on over here. And I need to replace the uh, speedometer one. That's this one right here. You will be sure that it uh, compares. And it does. You can see the uh, four points that were soldered. We have this point, and this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to use either copper braid or a solder sucker. I'll show you how both work. Okay, we're going to unsolder this servo. I'm going to show you two different methods. One is using a soldering sucker, and the other is desoldering cable or braid. It's called many different things. A uh, solder sucker, if you do a lot of work, uh, is probably the way to go. I picked one up for about $10 at Radio Shack. And the way it works is you hold your soldering iron to the joint that you're removing the solder from. When the solder turns to liquid, you put the solder sucker over it, pressing a button, releasing a plunger that creates a vacuum and very quickly sucks the liquid solder into the tube of the solder sucker. The other way is using this copper braided uh, desoldering method and when you hold the braid against the point that you're trying to unsolder and you apply your soldering iron when the solder turns to a liquid state capillary action draws that solder into the copper wick and uh, withdraws the solder from the board and the contacts. Uh, both work I think equally well the copper braid it gets filled with solder and you need to take a new section for every uh, place that you're trying to withdraw solder from. And so if you're doing much uh, work in electronics, uh, you're going to be purchasing more copper braid. You're going to save probably two to three hundred dollars by doing this job yourself. So don't skimp on it. Go out and buy the proper equipment that you need for this. And I'll show you both methods right now. Like so. This one will use the braid. Like that. We'll go back to this one.
And we'll do this one again. And with that, it should be able to come off. Here's the uh, pins that you solder. These are the alignment pins to put it into the right spot. And we're going to just go ahead and replace this one. You want to be sure that these pins are straight and that you get those back into the spots here. And uh, so Now let's turn it over and look. I can feel all four pins have come through to the foil. And I want to be sure they don't shift from that. Roll it over so the foam holds it. Take my soldering iron. It's up all right for you. It's not the brightest in here right now. Don't uh, keep the heat on there too long. It will actually ruin the foil. And there it is. And flip this over. That's now in alignment. We'll take the uh, back half of the case, set it on, snap it down, and now we're going to put our needles back on. Now, what you want to do, just sort of lightly. Put them on the shaft, and as you turn it, the shaft will stop. So, if you can hear that. So, when it comes to a stop, then just line it with your mark, and then press down. And, and now you're all uh, in alignment with the old one. So. Did you follow how I did that? It should stop right on your mark. And to do that, we're just setting this down lightly. Turn it so you can hear it turning. And if, it, if you're off, you can always come around as long as you're not pressing too hard. Down, you don't want, want it come to your mark and then press it down all the way. And it should line up with that mark you put in. So, we'll do another one here. Hear it. And it stopped. I'll come all the way around to our mark. And then press down. And that lines up with the mark. Two to go. So I'm going to come around. Press it down. So at this point, move your pointers all the way. So you can remove the tape. And now take this unit here, this part, and put it on. You want to drop the uh, uh, reset button for the odometer in there. 
over on this side these tabs are going to drop into the slot and then on this side that just snaps together and we're all done now we're going to just do the reverse to install it.